Okay, we have this problem on the board. X cubed equals eight e to the x. Okay, this looks interesting. And again, this is part of my playlist on Lambert W function. So we're gonna solve it. We're gonna try to solve it with Lambert W function. I'm looking for real solutions. And what I wanna do is I wanna manipulate it using, we wanna get this thing into this formula where we have the same input as the exponent so that we can use this to simplify the problem. And it's nice that we already have the e, but I think the first problem I see is, even if we can move this x over, we get this three exponent, and we need to match the exponent here. So before I bring it over, what I'm gonna do, I mean, we could do it either way, but I'm just gonna take a um, cube root on both sides here. So let's just do this, cube root of x cubed, cube root of eight e x. On the left, left side, the cube root of x cubed is just going to be an x. And then on the right side, we can split these up. So the cube root of 8 is 2. And then let's just, to be clear, we'll just write this as a 1 -third. So then when we distribute this, we end up with 2 e 1 -third x. Then next I'm going to do, let's divide by the right side. So let's divide by this whole thing on both sides. And what we're going to have is this is going to cancel and be a 1. So then we bring this, let's bring this uh, 2 out as a 1 half. So we'll have 1 half x, e to the, we'll bring this into the, just change the exponent to a negative 1 third x equals 1. And then you can see we're getting pretty close to this format. We have our e and we've got a kind of similar input, but we need to get these to be exact. So what I need to do to make this work is I need to multiply by a minus 2 thirds on both sides. And then we're going to have cancel here. We're going to have minus one third x e minus one third x equals minus two thirds. And then the thing you want to notice is we've now matched the coefficient and the exponent. So we're in exactly this format. You could do a u substitution and imagine a u here, and then it would output that same u. And so let's apply the Lambert W function on both sides. And then now reducing the left side, we just output this piece, which is the same. So this is gonna be minus one third X equals, we can't reduce that, that I know of right now. So we'll have a Lambert W of minus two thirds on the right side. Then we, all we need to do is just multiply by a minus three here and a minus three here. And we're left with X equals minus three, Lambert W minus two thirds. Now the question we want real solutions is this, re is this a real solution? And if so, are there other real solutions? Looking real quick at this very rough graph, um, that's pretty bad, whatever's going on there is not great, but we wanna see when do we have, our, our only real solutions are gonna be when it's on this graph here. So our domain where we're gonna have a real solution is gonna be greater than or equal to minus one over E, which is about 0 0.368. Uh, minus two thirds is around minus 0.667. So we're actually out, we're, we're not that far off, but we're out here somewhere. And here in this range, there's no real part of the Lambert W function. So this piece right here is gonna be complex. And so the whole thing is a complex solution. And so we have no real solutions.